This is the book of Jeremiah 28, verse 8. The prophets that have been before me, before the of old prophesied both against many countries, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Ha'Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Coming at you with another quick lesson through the spirit power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai. I'm going to read it again, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. The prophets that had been before me and before thee of old, both, right? Above thee of old, prophets have both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Now, I'm going to go into this article a little bit. As you can see, this is uh, on my breaking news app. Um, this is one popped up. This one is uh, an article that popped up last night. It says Russia, Ukraine war live. Kremlin warns West. That sending more weapons to Kyiv will lead to significant escalation. Crimea will never again be a part of Ukraine, says Croatian president. The president of Croatia, Zoran Milanovic, has criticized Western countries for supplying Ukraine with heavy tanks and other weapons. And said Crimea will never again be a part of Ukraine. Speaking to reporters, Zagreb Milanovic said he was against sending any lethal arms to Kyiv, arguing that supplying Ukraine with weapons only prolongs the war. Western military support for Ukraine is deeply immoral because there is no solution to the war, he said, adding that the arrival of German tanks in Ukraine will only serve to drive Russia closer to China. Referring to Crimea, Crimea, the Black Sea Peninsula seized and annexed by Russia in 2014, he said. Uh, Milanovic has embraced an anti-EU stance since he was originally elected in 2019 as a left-leaning liberal candidate and has aligned his policies with those of Hungary's, Hungary's Prime Minister Viktor Orban in Bosnian Serb uh, Sessionist leader Milorad Dudik. Although the presidential post is mostly ceremonial in Croatia, Milanovic is formerly the supreme commander of the armed forces. In recent months, he has openly opposed the accession of Finland and Sweden into NATO, as well as the training of Ukrainian troops in Croatia as part of EU aid to the embattled country. Okay, let's see. But it says France and Australia have announced plans to jointly manufacture ammunition for ukraine and you see like it said um uh, you know it's this thing is definitely going to uh further escalate you know um as the west and other uh, nato and eu countries um continue to support ukraine um it's gonna it's just it's just gonna uh further have russia continue to you know devour <laughs> those people over there you know and uh and for russia just to continue to build and, and keep the the aggression towards the west you know this is a little bit more uh, i mean there's a little bit more you can read uh Let's see. British tanks will reach Ukraine this side of summer, says defense minister. The UK's defense minister, Ben Wallace, has said that the tanks donated to Ukraine will arrive on the front line before the summer. Asked in a parliament when the 14 Challenger tanks Britain has agreed to supply will be deployed onto the battlefield. And, uh, and they just and they asked that. And um, they, they basically just told them that uh, they should be there by the summer. But you see, the point of this thing is this thing is not letting up right that's the point this thing is not letting up and eventually as we say this is eventually everything is all all roads is going to lead to world war three point blank period you know with a lot of more things that's going to continue to happen all roads still lead to world war three at the end of the day okay and that's a part of biblical prophecy now when you go here this is what I got this uh, morning it's a Soviet submarine launched all its missiles in an unrepresent unprecedented rehearsal for what i'm a god one right i said that in the hebrew uh, so uh, armageddon so 
this is where all roads was leading to. All roads are leading to uh, World War Three. at the end of the day. That's the main point of this lesson, what I'm going into. Okay, you see these different wars, rumors of wars that, that is being spoken of, right? Let's pull that up real fast. The book of Matthew. Chapter 24, verse 6, it says, And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So this is what we're hearing on a day-to-day -day basis. We're hearing of the different little wars that's going on and the rumors of war, rumors of wars uh, being spoken about of these different nations. Okay? But see that the end is not yet. And we still have further uh, more prophecies that have to take place. Okay, and one of the main prophecies that we continue to speak on, that's in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 16th verse on down, is the MOTB, that whole uh, system being established on the earth. Okay, the whole MOTB system, the Karagma, you know, which Esau wants to implant in you, you know, in order for you to what? To buy and sell. Okay. MOTB is not sin. The MOTB is not Christianity. The MOTB is not the, the image of Cesare Borgia or who, who the world knows Jesus Christ. No, it's not white woman. <laughs> That's what ICBK used to teach. You know, no. The MOTB will be something that E is going to implant in you and that you will have to, that you will need to uh, be able to, right? buy and sell it no it's not embargo okay so further on in this article it says soviet submarine launched all its missiles in a in an unprecedented unprecedented rehearsal for armageddon or armageddon in the final years of the cold war the soviet navy text two of its delta class nuclear what nuclear power ballistic missile submarines or ssbns to verify their capability to launch a full salvo of 16 ballistic missiles at once. This was an operation. This was Operation Behemoth. And the results were, as it has, as has to be said, mixed. The first attempt in 1989 ended in a disaster when propellant and oxidizer leaked from one of the missiles and ignited in the launch tube. The resulting, however, carried out in 1991 by another Delta class submarine was successful. The first time ever in naval history, a full ballistic missile salvo launch was made from a submerged submarine. Okay, look at that bad boy right there. You see? <coughs> so, uh, and that's further down. Let's read that. Okay, beginning in late 1969, the Soviet Union and the United States held a series of negotiations to limit the capabilities and number of nuclear weapons that they fielded, known as the Strategic Arms Limitation Talks, or SOAT 1 and SOAT 2, in the early 1980s. So, this is going into a little bit of history. The U.S. President Ronald Reagan announced another round of negotiations under the, the START, okay, Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. The focus was on further limiting the number of nuclear warheads and hence their carriers, the submarines, ground-based missiles, and strategic bombers that formed the so-called nuclear triad. Negotiations were complicated with many postponements, but in mid-1980s, an outline of an agreement started to take shape. In 1985, the final leader of the Soviet Union, Mikhail Gorbachev, was elected as General Secretary of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. Um, Gorbachev, or Gorbachev began to introduce his famous policies of glass note, which is openness, in Perestrokia. Uh, or, yeah, I know I'm pronouncing these ra names wrong, so Slokia for that. It says, uh, restructuring into the daily life of millions of Soviets, these measures increased freedom of speech and made efforts to... Uh, Democrat, uh, democratize, demo, democratize the political system and reconstructed a rigid economic system into a more flexible, what up, and a partially decentralized model. The Soviet Union's armed forces didn't share much of Gorbachev's enthusiasm for change. The only possible outcome of the START treaty once signed will be 
be fewer warhead nuclear warheads and fewer carriers for them the leaders of the services responsible for the nuclear triad navy air force and ground forces were unaware of the exact details of the limitation talks and could only guess at the scale of their impact on the future of the armed forces um let me see backbone of russia's navy nuclear deterrent um let's see trying to get more to the point okay so this is going into a, a little bit more history but when you basically read down it says like it says their first attempt was unsuccessful and uh but their second attempt was success successful you know and, and pretty much you can get from this is that as they stated look in 1991 we made a successful attempt and we're way better manufactured now Okay, we're way better manufactured now. Our technology and our our weaponry is 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 out of this roof. Okay, way past up to date. You know, so if it, if it was successful in 1991, how much successful will it be in 2023? You know, that we had all this time and we put all this effort into what into uh into this uh the, our our nuclear capability. You know, and Russia's nuclear capability is so strong to the point where other nations now are, you know, having a weapon, doing weapon agreements deals and how Russia is also supplying these other nations uh, with weaponry as well. You know, because the U.S. really wants to limit the other nations of having weaponry, weaponry and other nations know good and well that it wouldn't be in their best interest if they was to follow suit uh, with America's plans or Babylon's plans to be uh, limited to how many uh, missiles that uh, they can have, right? Now, let's get this real fast. So, this should bring this out, right? The book of Isaiah of Joel, Salak of Joel, um, verse 3, verse 9, it says, complain, compl Proclaim, Salak, proclaim you this among the Gentiles. Prepare war, wake the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And this is what you are starting to see take place. Okay, as the nations are being gathered together and so the Middle East are being drawn and set to be drawn, okay, very sooner than later, all to the Middle East to be judged, okay, to be gathered for what? The Ormageddon. But right now, these nations are uh, preparing and making their ways, ma making their ways and setting forth, you know, uh, for this battle. Right, verse 10, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. And this is what the other nations are saying. Okay, the other nations, the other nations are starting to uh, be strong in 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 a, in a in a in a sense of having, you know, uh, weaponry. Okay, being able to fight back. That's why other nations uh, have this mindset of, okay, now I am now I'm strong. Okay. I have a defense. I can go on the offense if I want to. Even if I do lose, I have nuclear capability. Verse 11, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen. Gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I will sit and judge all the heathen round about. Okay? And this is what you see taking place. That all the heathen is being gathered together. Ultimately, like I said, all roads go to Ormageddon. Okay, so all this is leading to Ormageddon. Put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full. The fast overflow for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Okay, so this is, like I said before, all roads are leading to this third world war okay but you hear it right now you're seeing and you're hearing these different rumor wars and rumors of wars from articles things that you see on, on different media tv stations or alternative media whatever you know st still a lot of wars and rumors of wars going on but the end is not yet okay and we got a major thing to look out for right what's coming into place the motb the karagma okay don't take it you know what it is we speak about it day in and day out here at the church, a great millstone. Shalom.